daily activities like running or walking can really take a toll on your feet. And turns out about 77% of Americans experience significant foot pain, but more than two thirds of those avoid seeking treatment. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez joins us live from the South Texas Bone and Joint Facility. So Roland, why aren't more people seeing a doctor about this issue? Uh, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. It is hard to say, but I can tell you, foot problems are the most, uh, most I guess you could say, the most complained about part of anyone's body among older people and middle-aged people. From injuries to inflammation, several different types of damage and malfunctions can lead to foot problems. Improper footwear, diabetes, and aging are some of the big factors that can lead to these problems. But if pain continues in spite of things that you know usually work to deal with pain, like taking an anti-inflammatory, change like for your foot, changing your shoes, and seeing if that doesn't help, um, if, if that's not working, you need to come and at least be seen, maybe by the primary doctor, but if it goes on long enough, you really need to see a specialist. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Don Grosser with South Texas Bone and Joint says everybody is at risk. Probably people who have more miles on their feet or stand for, their li for a living, stand on concrete and hard surfaces, they are more likely to wear their feet out faster and their ankles out and their knees. Over the course of a lifetime, our feet and ankles can take a real pounding. Ankles in particular return 50% more energy per step than hips and knees. And whatever's going on in the foot and ankle affects the rest of the body, the knees, the hips, and the back. You can imagine if there's something wrong with the foot, it doesn't heal as quickly as um, maybe something else that's not as stressed, like an upper extremity injury, so to speak. Wearing poor shoes with thin soles or no support can doom you. It's always about the shoe. Uh, a shoe can help you or a shoe can hurt you. If you're choosing the right shoe for your foot and your foot type, you can avoid problems in the foot. And not just the right shoe, but sometimes an insert in the shoe. Maybe they're flat-footed or they have other issues that a good orthotic could be added to a shoe. Yes, Thank you this Our feet do take a pounding. It is said that the average person will walk 150,000 miles in their lifetime. That's like walking around the world six times. Ashley?